Cherokee Nation Behavioral Health, Cherokee Nation Businesses, and the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration recently hosted Rock the Block at Norris Park in Tahlequah. Everyone that has a vested interest in prevention comes out and, and helps. It's a really good networking opportunity and a good opportunity for families to come get information. It kind of serves as a one-stop shop, so we're really excited about that. National Prevention Week is designed to increase awareness of the importance of substance abuse prevention and mental, emotional, and behavioral well-being around the country as well as in local communities. There were over 20 community partners involved in last week's event. More than 500 people showed up to enjoy free hot dogs, snow cones, cotton candy, and popcorn. There were games for the kids, a bouncy house, a slide, and even some face painting. Mixed martial arts competitor Jamie Ambush Jones gave some statistics for teens about abuse and offered some positive reinforcement. Well, one big thing I've, I try to do and be an advocate for is prevention in, in its entirety. Um, if we can prevent um, the majority of these things from happening and educate our, our youth, then that will have a drastic change on, on how, how they are affected by it. Coleman Cox from Behavioral Health talked to parents about hidden dangers in over-the-counter medications. It's not just cough syrup, it's dextromethorphan. Dextromethorphan, consumed in large quantities, is like a hallucinogen. It's called robo-tripping. Local police were there with special drunk goggles demonstrating just how hard it can be to manage driving a vehicle while intoxicated. Basically we're simulating people under the influence at different uh, blood alcohol concentrates. Uh, over here they're getting to drive a golf cart to see, simulate what it would be like uh, driving under the influence and here we're putting them through the uh, walk and turn and one leg stand tests which is something that police officers do to uh, determine if people are under the influence of alcohol. He needs your help. He's old enough to be my father. Yes! He did it. Give it up. I Believe Guy, Brian Jackson, showed off his talents and spoke about his younger days and the value of second chances. One thing I wanted to share with you was that one time I was in the largest drug bust of my hometown of Seminole, Oklahoma. I was really bad. And what happened was somebody gave me a second chance. So I'm a firm believer in second chances. And what you do with that second chance is completely up to you. For more information on preventing substance abuse in your community, email Cherokee Nation Behavioral Prevention Services at behavioralhealth@cherokee.org, or call them at 1-800-256-0671.